Hey everyone, this is Arlene. I'm here today with a video tutorial for My Favorite Things and I'm going to show you how to make this really cute dress form pin cushion. And I use the So Nifty Dynamic set, uh, the dress form from the set, and this Dynamics set comes with the So Nifty uh, Dynamics and Stamp set available on the MFT website and it comes with the dress form, a thimble, or I'm sorry, a spool, a thimble, some cute little scissors, and the scissors and the thimble have a little um, a little hole where you can actually stick some twine or whatever. You can hang it from your project, and then it comes with this little ruler that also has a little hole. So super cute. Um, so I used this dress form, and I die cut some thick um, craft cardstock, and I can't recall where I got this. It's almost like thin chipboard, but it cut the um, with the dynamics like butter. So what I did, and I'll just get this all out of the way, um, what I did is I cut out a full dress form and just part of a dress form, okay, because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So let me show you my dress form really quick. Um, I actually used this velvety uh, material that I had from my stash, uh, my fabric stash, and then I have some lace here. I tied a little bow. I um, die cut and created a mini rolled rose using the mini rolled rose um, dynamic set and it comes with a medium and a small and I use the small and I use the brown MFT felt, um, love this, uh, to cut it out and then I assembled it and then I put some Recollections um, pearl bling as a necklace up on the top and then I lined the, um, the stem of the dress form with more of the bling and for the base, I actually distressed it with um, the Tim Holtz Distress ink just to add some color and um, give it kind of that grungy vintage look. And then um, I have two little I Am Roses flowers at the base here. Um, this stick pin I actually created, and I'm going to show you how I did it. It's really easy, and I have the pieces here. I just have one of these jeweled top um, stick pins that I got in, at, at, on, on Etsy. It comes in a pack of 100. And then I just have a couple of pearls and then some findings. Okay, so I'm going to show you exactly how I created this pin cushion. It's so cute, so fun, and you know you can stick some pins in here. You can gift um, some stick pins because it's really you know kind of fun to create you know decorative stick pins that you can use on your projects and then gift it to somebody in one of these. So um, or you can put this on your card or your mini album. It's really really cute and fun. So um, let me go ahead and show you how I created it. So I'm going to put this off to the side. And again, the two dynamics that I used are the So Nifty uh, Dynamics as well as the Mini Rolled Rose Dynamics. Okay, so with the base, um, I'm just going to go ahead and take my Distress Ink and Walnut Stain. And I'm just going to ink up the top and then the base. The, the center, of course, I'm not going to be too concerned about because I'm going to be layering on top the cushion that we're going to be creating. Okay, so I'm just dyeing that just a little bit. Now, what I want to do is take this um, partial piece right here, and I am just going to cut it like so. Okay, just kind of rounding the top like that, as you guys can see. And then I'm just going to cut off the stem on the bottom. Okay, and I'm just going to toss those two pieces. Okay, so you're going to get something that just looks like this. But as you can tell, this is going to layer nicely right over here. Okay, but perfect fit because obviously it's the same die that cut it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the cushion on this piece right here. So really easy, you just take a piece of fabric. Okay, and um, this is the fabric that I'm using. It's a velvety fabric and it's a little stretchy. It gives just a little bit, which is nice. Okay, and I'm just going to cut a piece of that. Okay, I'm just using my Tim Holtz scissors here. All right, and then I'm going to, let me take my fabric scissors. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut along it, along the um, trim just a little bit, or along the fabric, and I'm just making enough, uh, leaving enough space so that I could he adhere the fabric down onto the chipboard. But I don't want too much fabric because I don't want it to be too bulky when I layer the cushion onto the base dress form. So, all right, just get rid of that extra. Got a runaway pearl here. 
Okay, so now how do I create the cushion? Really simple. You just take some cotton balls. It's really easy, and I just take a couple of them. Any cotton balls are fine. And then I just stretch them just a little bit. And, um, yeah, just stick them like that right over there on top of the cardboard or the cardstock. And then I'll just take the fabric and lay that over. Okay, really simple. Now what I'm going to do is just flip it over. Just make sure I have enough fabric to um, curl over on here. And I'm going to take my hot glue gun and just stick it right here because I'm going to need it. And I'm just going to go ahead and start um, bending the fabric over. And it's really easy. You just bend it over. Hold it down just a little bit. Okay, I'm just add a little bit more here. Just careful not to burn yourself because it is hot glue. And I just want to try it as much as possible, keep the form of the dress, the dress form, as much as I can. And that's by pulling the fabric tight over the, um, the chipboard. just kind of pull on the cobwebs, but do you see how um, I got the dress form to um, stay shaped? Sorry, got all that. Do you see that? And it's going to fit nicely over my dress form, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to take some hot glue and add it to my base. Okay. So just kind of adhere that down. Isn't that nice? So it's like little cushiony um, pin cushion. Okay, so I'm done with the base. Let's um, leave that for now. Let me show you how I make the stick pin. Or actually, before I do that, let me go ahead and tie some lace around the, the base. Now, I'm using some Prima um, trim that I got from Ellen Hudson. And... I'm just going to get a nice, generous piece here. And I'm going to tie a bow. Okay, so I got the bow on. Um, with the Prima Lace. Now I'm going to go ahead and add some pearls for the necklace. And what I like to do is I usually use the um, Prima Satin Pearls. Just a tip, um, you can maximize use of your pearls by cutting it with an X-Acto knife and only apply where you need it. And so I always end up with these little pieces of leftover. So since this bends a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and use this piece for my necklace. And I'm just going to take my Tim Holtz scissors here. And I want to use the um, pearls that are closer in size. I'll just get my X-Acto to pull that up. And I usually use my X-Acto to adhere it down like this. So putting on the necklace, on my dress form. Okay, and I'm not going to do the bling down the trim like I did with the last one, but that's how that looks. All right, and then I'm going to add some of these I Am Roses to the base of my dress form. And I just like to use hot glue because it's pretty quick. Okay, so I got those two flowers on. And then I already went ahead and rolled uh, my mini rolled rose, again, from the mini ro rolled rose dynamics die set. And I'm going to apply that over my bow some hot glue just like that so cute love that little bow 
and the flower just looks gorgeous on there. Okay, now for the stick pin, really simple. You just take the diamond head stick pin and stick one finding in, and you can um, reinforce this with um, glossy accents, and I'm going to do that later just for sake of time. Um, so a finding, then a small pearl, another finding, and then the larger pearl. Okay, so there's my stick pen, and I'm just going to insert that right over my flower. So there is my dress form. Here's the other one. So hope you guys give it a try. These are super fun and easy to make. So thanks for watching, everyone. Check out MFT at mftstamps.com. Bye.